Hello everyone. So today I'm checking back on my video how to connect to MySQL and utilize in a Go project. So in this video I have got uh, comments from Manu check require. So I could not spell the name properly. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, this was yeah I like this comment and uh, the mention was could you please tell me how you have connected product to the DB viewer however I'm facing issues with while connecting to DB viewer sure so I will create the video now uh, on these two comments so hopefully I could solve the issue so I went through the DB viewer documentation so that you can take a look so in this documentation Right now we are using MySQL, so that's the reason we are checking for database drive in MySQL. So what does the guide provide from dbviewer? Shows the instruction how to set up and use MySQL with dbviewer. So before we start, we must create a connection in dbviewer and select MySQL. So yeah. If you have not done this, you can click on the article and it will forward you to you to that. Let me open the article. So how to create a database connection. First, we need to click on the new connection wizard button in the toolbar in the DB navigator. It will present us with this uh, screen prompt to connect to a database. So here we need to find which database we would like to use. So the next. So this is showing for PostgreSQL. I think for us we want to check on MySQL. So for MySQL you need to click on which MySQL you would like to use and then set it up. So whenever you click on the MySQL connection setups page, you will come across uh, this user interface where you can leave the defaults as it is localhost, check on the port number, whichever port number your MySQL is running and uh, the root and if, the, if there is a password, you can type it and save the password so that you don't have to type the password every time you click on connect. You can check the server time and the client version and name of the driver and then click on finish uh, before clicking finish you can check the test connection so there are a couple of details listed in the page uh, you can check it out so let's dive into db viewer so that uh, we can go through this page here i have my mysql docker container so let me just start it So you can see it is starting up and now let me open my db viewer and uh, I'm just going to follow the instructions and uh, here I say navigate into databases and I click on new database connection. So here you can see is the connect to database prompt and I click on MySQL, click on next. Yeah, so here I don't change anything related to the port. So if I check back on my Docker container, uh, if I go back to the containers, you can see the port is 3306. So in my MySQL, the port is 3306. And let me test connection. You can see connected successfully. Click on finish. Double click on Net. so you can see the databases let me try to zoom in ah, okay there is no zoom in option here okay fine but if you click on databases you can see the databases that are present so let me go to my to do's database and let me open the Views. So the database I think is empty. Yeah. So this is how 
but uh, coming back to the user's question so this is how you connect to the database as, I sh as it is shown in the dbware documentation when you click, click on test connection you can test it when you click finish you will be able to see the database in the database navigator so i hope this video answers the question and uh, yeah i will post the links to both of them and hopefully yeah this is solved yeah thanks for watching the video and adding your comments uh, it takes me some time to reach out back to you but yeah that's it thanks for watching and uh, if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye